Gina Rowlands, a titan of American cinema, passed away recently. She left behind a legacy of powerful performances and an indelible mark on independent film. Her career spanned decades, filled with challenging roles and critical acclaim. Rowlands was known for her raw talent, her fearless commitment to her craft, and her ability to portray complex, often flawed characters with honesty and empathy. She was amused to her husband, the maverick director John Cassavetes, and together they redefined American filmmaking. Rowlands's performances were not simply acting, they were visceral experiences that stayed with viewers long after the credits rolled. Her characters, often women grappling with societal expectations, addiction or the complexities of relationships, resonated with audiences on a deeply human level. Rowlands eschewed the glamour often associated with Hollywood, choosing instead to delve into the depths of human emotion, exposing vulnerability and strength in equal measure. Her passing marks the end of an era, but her work will continue to inspire and challenge audiences for generations to come. Gina Rowlands, born Virginia Catherine Rowlands in 1930, was destined for the stage and screen. Growing up in a politically active family in Wisconsin, she developed a keen awareness of social issues, a sensibility that would later inform her acting choices. Rowlands' mother, a homemaker with a passion for the arts, encouraged her daughter's early interest in acting. She honed her skills in school plays and local theater productions. After studying drama at the prestigious American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York, Rowlands embarked on a successful Broadway career. She quickly gained recognition for her stage presence and her ability to bring depth and nuance to her roles. Hollywood beckoned and Rowlands transitioned to film and television quickly becoming a sought-after actress in the burgeoning medium of television during the Golden Age. Her early roles showcased her versatility and her natural ability to connect with the camera, hinting at the extraordinary career that lay ahead. Gina Rowland's creative partnership with director John Cassavetes was a defining force in both their careers. Their collaboration was not just a professional alliance, but a deeply personal journey that spanned decades, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of American cinema. They met in New York at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, where their shared passion for acting ignited a lifelong connection. This meeting was the beginning of a relationship that would see them grow, not only as individuals, but as a formidable creative duo. Their time in New York was filled with dreams and aspirations, setting the stage for their future endeavors. Their personal and professional lives became deeply intertwined when they married in 1954, embarking on a creative partnership that would revolutionize American cinema. Their marriage was more than a union of two people. It was the merging of two artistic souls who would go on to challenge and redefine the boundaries of filmmaking. Cassavetes, a visionary filmmaker who challenged the conventions of Hollywood, found in Rowlands a muse and a collaborator who not only inspired him but also pushed him to explore new artistic territories. Rowlands's ability to bring depth and authenticity to her roles complemented Cassavetes' desire to create films that were raw, real and emotionally resonant. Together they spearheaded the American independent film movement, producing a body of work characterized by its raw realism improvisational style and unflinching exploration of human relationships. Their films were a departure from the polished productions of Hollywood, offering a more gritty and honest portrayal of life and human emotions. Cassavetti's films, often written with Rowlands in mind, provided her with the perfect platform to showcase her extraordinary talent. Her performances were not just acting, they were a deep dive into the human psyche, bringing to life characters that were complex, flawed and profoundly human. Their collaborations were not without their challenges. The couple's passionate commitment to their art often resulted in volatile creative clashes. These clashes, however, were a testament to their dedication and their relentless pursuit of artistic truth. They pushed each other to their limits, resulting in performances and films that were nothing short of extraordinary. However, these creative tensions fueled their work resulting in some of the most powerful and enduring films of American cinema. Their legacy is a testament to the power of collaboration, passion and the relentless pursuit of artistic excellence. Through their work, Rowlands and Cassavetes have left an indelible mark on the world of film, inspiring generations of filmmakers and actors to come.
Section 4, Raw and Unflinching. Defining performances in A Woman Under the Influence and Gloria. Two of Gina Rowland's most iconic performances came in the films A Woman Under the Influence from 1974 and Gloria from 1978, both directed by John Cassavetes. These films not only solidified Rowland's status as a powerhouse actress, but also showcased her incredible range and depth as a performer. In A Woman Under the Influence, Rowland's delivered a tour de force performance as Mabel Longhetti, a housewife struggling with mental illness. Her portrayal was not just acting, it was a raw, visceral experience that drew audiences into Mabel's turbulent world. Her portrayal of Mabel's descent into despair was raw, unflinching and deeply affecting, earning Rowland's an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. The intensity and authenticity she brought to the role made Mabel's pain palpable, leaving a lasting impact on viewers. The film, a searing indictment of societal expectations and the stigma surrounding mental health, remains a landmark achievement in American cinema, largely due to Roland's fearless and heartbreaking performance. Her ability to convey the complexities of mental illness with such nuance and empathy was groundbreaking. In Gloria, Roland shed her fragile persona, transforming into a tough-talking, street-smart woman who risks her life to protect a young boy from the mob. This role was a stark contrast to her previous work, demonstrating her versatility and range as an actress. This powerful performance, a departure from her previous roles, earned Rowlands her second Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. Her portrayal of Gloria was both fierce and tender, capturing the character's strength and vulnerability in equal measure. The film, a gritty and suspenseful crime drama, showcased Rowlands' versatility and her ability to inhabit characters from vastly different walks of life. Her performance in Gloria was a testament to her skill and dedication as an actress further cementing her legacy in the world of cinema. Through these two defining roles, Gina Rowlands not only captivated audiences, but also left an indelible mark on the film industry, proving that she is one of the most talented and versatile actresses of her generation. Section five, the complexity of the human experience. Exploring the nuances of faces and opening night. Gina Rowland's filmography with John Cassavetes is a testament to their shared commitment to exploring the complexities of human relationships. Their collaborations have produced some of the most emotionally resonant and intellectually stimulating films in cinema history. The synergy between Rowland's and Cassavetes is palpable, with each film offering a deep dive into the human psyche. In Faces from 1968, a raw and unflinching portrayal of a disintegrating marriage, Rowlands delivers a performance of remarkable nuance and emotional depth. The film delves into the intricacies of marital discord, capturing the raw emotions and unspoken tensions that often accompany the end of a relationship. Rowlands' ability to convey the inner turmoil of her character is nothing short of extraordinary. Her portrayal of Jeannie Rapp, a woman caught in a loveless marriage, is both heartbreaking and relatable capturing the quiet desperation of a life unfulfilled. The character's emotional journey is portrayed with such authenticity that it resonates deeply with audiences, making them reflect on their own experiences and relationships. The film, shot in a cinema verite style, allowed Rowlands to fully inhabit her character, resulting in a performance that is both naturalistic and deeply affecting. This style of filmmaking Characterized by its realistic approach and lack of artificiality provided Rowlands with the perfect canvas to showcase her immense talent. The raw and unfiltered nature of the film adds to its emotional impact, making it a timeless piece of cinema. Opening Night from 1977 provided Rowlands with another challenging and rewarding role. The film explores the world of theatre and the personal struggles of an actress facing the twilight of her career. Rowland's portrayal of Myrtle Gordon is a masterclass in acting as she navigates the complexities of her character with grace and intensity. As Myrtle Gordon, an aging actress grappling with self-doubt and the fear of obsolescence, Rowland's delivers a tour de force performance that is both raw and vulnerable. The character's internal conflict and existential dread are brought to life through Rowland's nuanced performance, making Myrtle's journey both compelling and relatable. The film, a meditation on the nature of performance and the fragility of the human ego, showcases Rowland's ability to convey a wide range of emotions with subtlety and power. 
The interplay between her onstage and offstage personas adds layers of complexity to the narrative, highlighting the blurred lines between reality and performance. Her portrayal of Myrtle's emotional breakdown is both terrifying and exhilarating to watch, a testament to her unwavering commitment to her craft. The intensity of her performance leaves a lasting impression, making it one of the most memorable moments in cinema. Roland's ability to immerse herself completely in her role